Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Today I'm going to do a reading for Scorpio. This is going to be your weekly reading February 23rd through the 29th. Please remember this is a general reading. If you'd like something more specific, my information is in the description box. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Um, there's a video playlist link in my description box if you want to check out my other videos. There's also a link um, for a website to pull your natal chart if you don't know what your other signs are. And then lastly, um, I have if you want to enter um, a giveaway I'm doing at the end of the month, I'm giving away two bracelets. I have here an amethyst bracelet with an angel wing. I don't know if you can see it, and then a halite bracelet with an angel wing, okay? So I can put um, Reiki healing energy on them. I can also do manifestation energy. Um, if you'd like to manifest love, abundance, or everything, you know, and um, I'm a Reiki healer as well. Um, but for the giveaway, you just have to like, subscribe, and comment. If you're already a subscriber, you just have to like. Um, and comment, you know, if you watch other videos um, or you've already watched previous videos, <clears throat> excuse me, this month, um, you know, it's not like you can comment once and that's your only entry. You get entered for every time you like and comment, okay? So just know that. But I will be um, announcing or um, announcing that winners the first week of March. So I'm going to reply to the comment. So if um, <clears throat> make sure your notifications are on so that you know that I replied. Okay, I know um, for January I reached out to the winners and I haven't received anything. So what I might start doing is also announcing it like in the next uh, weekly video that I do after the first week. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so let's get started, Scorpio. First card I pulled is from the Archangel Power Tarot deck. You have the Five of Raphael. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. Okay, so some of you may have needed to hear this message. You know that things happen for a reason so if you're holding on to regret or resentment um, I feel here the message for you is for things to change um, you need to let go okay let go of that here all right all right I also want to say too thank you for you all of your beautiful comments I appreciate them I do read them it takes me some time though so just know that um, I do read them and um, I appreciate your comments. I love hearing your stories, okay? All right, so we're going to start with the tarot portion. This is uh, the Arcanum tarot deck. All right, here we go. Thank you, angels. <sighs> Got to breathe. Thank you for your guidance. I pray that this reading for Scorpio is for the highest good and purest intentions and that you give Scorpio the messages that they need to know clarity and healing if needed. All right, what does Scorpio need to know for week 23rd, or the 23rd through the 29th? Oh, we got one popping out there, we're gonna take it. Okay, let's keep going. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Scorpio? Okay. And let's get two more cards, please, for Scorpio. Two more cards for Scorpio. One more card for Scorpio. Okay. So we have bottom of the deck, Hierophant. Okay. So we'll <clears throat> see where that goes. We'll get back to that. All right. All right, okay, so interesting. Um, you know, like I said, the overall energy here, the, the first card that you got, release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness, search for the silver lining. So I feel here with the Eight of Cups, there may have been something 
or someone that you walked away from. There may have been a situation that just was not fulfilling to you or you weren't getting what you needed. Um, so I feel here you may have walked away. Remember, um, Scorpio, that the energies can also be reversed. <clears throat> so, um, but I will read it as Scorpio, okay? So this is definitely your energy, water energy here. But um, feel like you may have walked away from something, okay? May have released something um, and, and felt like there may have been other opportunities or better opportunities moving forward because here you have the chariot card, okay? So this is about, <clears throat> excuse me, um, moving forward, taking control of your life, okay? So I feel here you may have walked away from a person, a place, a thing here, something that wasn't serving you, okay? Um, and knowing here too with the five of Raphael that everything happens for a reason, okay? This could also be cancer energy, okay? So I feel here, you know, this may have been a situation that involved someone that you were definitely emotionally attached to. Remember, love comes in all forms. So if this is not a love interest, this could be a family member, a friend, um, any person in your love, um, any person in your life that you may have had a loving attachment to, okay? I know for a lot of you this will be about love, though, because... Um, I read your comments, but anyway, so I feel here that this is somebody definitely you definitely had attachment to, okay, definitely very, very um, feeling very, uh, in a sense, committed to or felt like the two of you were, um, you know, had this very, very strong bond, very strong emotional connection, even spiritual connection here. This is also water energy too, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Then we have here the Queen of Swords, okay? So I feel like you, I heard you, you had to put your foot down in the matter here, okay? I feel here you weren't getting what you needed and I feel like you had to protect yourself and you had to set your boundaries with this person and I feel like that's why you walked away, okay? I felt like they weren't giving you what you needed and you had to um, draw the line here. Okay, so this could be uh, air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And I feel here through this process here with the star card, I feel here this is about you healing. I feel like you're healing. And um, I feel here too, this again goes back to this five of Raphael. This is about you healing and releasing, you know, the past regret. All right. And getting your emotions in in balance here so that um, you can embrace the new opportunities that come your way. All right. Then we have here the Empress. Okay. So I definitely feel here too, you know, by you clearing your energy, healing, okay, walking away from something that wasn't serving you. I feel like this is raising your vibration. You're getting into this beautiful Empress energy here. Okay, this can also be a mother figure. Okay, you may be a mother or have children here. This can also be, um, you know, a mother figure in your life. All right, um, but definitely feel here by with this healing and um, this energy I'm feeling here, you're definitely raising your vibration here. Okay, so let's see, we'll clarify the cards more to see what comes out, but we have the Hierophant here. Okay, so this could be somebody that you were in a committed relationship with or had a commitment with, could be a Taurus, um, could also be, um, you know, a situation that involved family or some type of, you know, strong, uh, you know, religious beliefs, um, a lot of different situations here, okay? I feel like for some of you this may have been either about commitment or you were with someone and you had to walk away for some reason. Yeah, and then look, we have the tower card, okay? So definitely this was something that um, was once stable and now it's not stable here, okay? Uh, may have been something too that was unexpected. Something unexpected may have happened where you felt like you had to walk away from the situation, Okay, 
The next card that you have is the Eight of Pentacles. So this is Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. All right. So, you know, this may have been somebody that you worked with. Okay. This could be a coworker. This could be um, a love interest that you may have worked with or you were trying to work on things with this person. All right. But I feel here things did not go... Um, did not go well here because we have the five of wands. So feel like you were feeling like you were at a tug of war with this person. Uh, the two of you may have had difference of opinions or not seeing eye to eye. This could be fire energy, um, Aries or Sagittarius. All right. Whew. But you know what? Somebody here may be um, reaching out with an apology here. Okay, because we have the Knight of Cups. Uh, this is your energy, Scorpio, so maybe you need to give an apology to someone um, in this situation, okay? But I'm going to read this as someone, I feel like somebody here may um, be reaching out to you, okay, from your past, this person that you walked away from, all right? Not that you want to hear from them, but, you know, some of you may, um, because we also have the Page of Pentacles, okay? So I definitely feel here that this person's going to reach out to you, okay? I feel like they're, um, I feel like this person wants a second chance, but I feel like, too, they're not very confident about it, whether you're going to receive them well or not, because look here, the next card, I'm not going to go any further, but the next card is the Four of Cups. So I feel here, this indication this person disappointed you, okay? And that's why I feel here, too, that you may not accept their offer. All right. Okay, so let's pull. I'm going to pull some clarification cards now. This is a new deck that I'm using. Really pretty here. It's got rainbows on it. It's called the Rainbows Traveler deck. Um, I uh, got this from a lady in Canada. She's the artist and the um, author. Her name's Carmen Waterman. Okay, and um, beautiful deck here. It's called the Traveler's Tarot, if I didn't say that already. Um, there are some differences, um, but one of the main differences um, is the full card is called the Traveler and not the full card. Okay, all right, so let's let cut these cards. If you can hear the piano, that's my son playing. I know I say it all the time, but it's really loud even though the doors are closed all right so the first um <clears throat> card i'm going to clarify is the eight of cups why is the eight of cups here please why is the eight of cups here please why's the eight of cups here please Ooh. look what you got you got the traveler yeah that's about you walking away <laughs> You walked away, you're, you're going after, you may be doing some traveling, but you're taking that risk, that leap of faith that there's something else out there better than what you've been experiencing. Okay, interesting. All right, so the next card, that let's see, Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here, please? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Star card here? Why is the Star card here? There's the star card here. Ooh, chariot. Why is the two of cups here? Why is the two of cups here? Why is the empress here, please? Oh, we got two cards. Okay. So, um, bottom of the deck is the emperor. Okay. So, you could be de dealing with an Aries here with the emperor, or you could be dealing... Um, with somebody who, you know, um, doesn't really express a lot of emotion. Okay, I talked about it could be somebody that you worked with. The emperor can be, you know, a boss. All right, this could have to do with your career. Okay, so let's uh, keep going here. So the next card, or the card we clarified was the king of swords and you got the temperance. Okay, so with the temperance card, um, you may be trying to balance um, here, you know, the situation, um, you know, there, I feel here too, this is about you balancing between emotion and thought here. 
some of you, like I said, I feel like you're trying to to make decisions here with your head and not your heart, um, but I feel like you're also trying to balance the two, okay? So I feel like this is about your inner balance. The temperance card, this could be Sagittarius, all right? I feel like you're wanting things to be more balanced here because I feel this situation was not balanced because you weren't getting what you needed. You weren't feeling emotionally satisfied in this situation. All right, so the next card that you have, um, we clarified was the star card, and then you have the sun card here. So yeah, so I feel like you're, you're healing. I talked about raising your vibration here. I feel like this is what's gonna bring you the peace and the happiness that you need here. So I feel like you're really coming to a place where you're gonna feel happier Okay, you're raising your vibration, and with that, I feel you're going to attract, um, you know, the goodness in your life here. All right, the next uh, card we clarified was the chariot card. I talked about moving forward. You walked away from something. You're taking control of your life and moving forward because I feel here with the Ten of Pentacles, you want something more stable here. Okay, you're moving towards something more stable because whatever this Eight of Cups energy was, it wasn't feeling good to you. Okay, so you have decided to move forward, all right? Looking for something more stable. And then we have here the Two of Cups, okay? So you're wanting this emotional attachment, whether this is a person or this is something else that you're emotionally attached to, okay? So I feel here with the Three of Wands, I feel like you may have been waiting for this person um, and it just didn't happen. You know, some of you may have been waiting for commitment and it didn't happen. So I feel like two, three ones signifies other opportunities. I feel here you're open to other opportunities here. Okay. Whether it's a new soulmate or this is a soulmate um, that you're already dealing with. Okay. Some of you may be still waiting for the soulmate to come in as well. Uh, like I said, this is uh well, I didn't say this is fire energy, uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius. And then here we have the Empress card. Yeah. So I talked about really coming into this beautiful energy of um, the Empress and the um, raising your vibration here. All right. I feel here this is, this is a result of you doing a lot of soul searching here with the Hermit card. Okay. It's also Virgo energy, but I definitely feel here, you've been doing a lot of thinking about this situation, wanting to heal, wanting happiness here. Really feel like this decision was um, made for you to, to get find your inner peace and your happiness here. And look here, we have the Four of Cups. I always say with this card, this is like the, the most risky card in this desk, deck here. <laughs> Her bum is showing. Um, but here with the four cups, you had to turn your back on something. Like I said, you had to walk away from something here that was not um, making you feel good. Okay. And this is how you have been able to move forward and find your happiness. And I feel like this was not an overnight decision. I feel like this is something that you had been thinking about for a while. Okay. So like I said, I still feel like it, that, um, whatever situation you walked um, away from, I feel like you may hear from somebody. If you're not going to hear from somebody, if that situation's over, I feel like there may be some good news coming in, okay? There may be um, a new opportunity coming in. Um, I don't feel like it's huge. I feel like it is, you know, just something like good news or you may receive a, a message from someone or it could be this person from the past. All right, let's pull some Romance Angel cards. Let's pull three cards. Thank you, angels and spirit guides for your guidance. What messages do you have for Scorpio in love? There's one. Let's get two more, please. Oh. Okay, let's see what bottom of the deck. Well, we have the soulmate card. Yes, this is your soulmate. So let's see what other cards we have to see. Um, you know what? I think my door is open. That's probably why it's so loud. <laughs> I was like, wow, it's extremely loud. Okay, so the first card you have is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay, 
I feel like this is why you may have walked away. I feel like this person couldn't express their love to you, okay? Because the second card that you have is release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy here, okay? For some of you, this might be about you releasing the ex. For others, I'm feeling maybe third party third party uh, energy and the only reason why is you have the three of wands here other opportunities and then the temperance card i see in this deck the temperance card there could be two um, people involved here you know almost like someone's balancing between two people and that's just how i read this card intuitively with the surrounding cards so some of you may have been involved in a third party situation and that's why you walked away because you're like this is really not good for me and I need something better than this, okay? I love me, I'm moving forward, okay? For others, this just might be, re be about releasing an ex who was unable to express how they felt to you. And then look here, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going, unrequited love. Okay, so again, this, is, this can be third party energy here, okay? Or this could just be about you letting somebody go um, because you weren't feeling good about it, okay? You're unsure of this person. Maybe you didn't even trust this person is what I'm seeing here, okay? Okay, so I am going to pull one final message, Scorpio, from um, the Lover's Oracle card, okay? So actually, I'm feeling here with the Soulmate card, Okay, this could have been a soulmate for you, but I want to see what's below the soulmate to see maybe somebody new is coming in. So we have soulmate, okay. Let your friends help you, okay. You may need some help during this time of releasing your ex, okay. And then we have deception, someone's been on the first mask. So no, I don't feel like this is a new soulmate. I feel like this is somebody you've already been dealing with and there was some type of deception here okay all right sorry scorpio i thought maybe it was somebody new but um no i feel like this is about something um that you've already been dealing with all right let's get one uh, romance angel card for scorpio and let's get one more okay the first card that came out is close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. And yes, amen to that. You can. And oh, look, I spoke too soon. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So there may be somebody new around you, somebody that is admiring you. Okay, that might be where I'm seeing this uh, Knight of Cups and this Page of Pentacles. Okay, good news and um, somebody reaching out to you. So there may be um, someone around you who wants to um, ask you out. So, all right, Scorpio, uh, end of the reading, kind of gave a little surprise there. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Scorpio. If you want to um, enter again, into the drawing um, then just subscribe like comment i appreciate it i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and i'm sending you angel love